is why I go camping, this kind of view. I mean, look at that. And it's not too shabby upriver either. Yeah, it's amazing. What a perfect night. Get this on the banks of the St. John. Oh my god, yeah, what a nice size bass. Thank you so much for joining us folks. We got Simon over there. In the distance we have Sandra and we have Gene. Brandon's already gone off somewhere, <laughs> we're not sure. But we're, we're five people on a canoe trip. We're out here for oh, probably seven or eight days. This is gonna be fun. Thanks a lot for joining us. Can't wait to get out there. Okay, so we've been paddling for a while, probably around seven, eight kilometers in, and we're uh, basically this is kind of an easy trip. We're uh, we don't have anything uh, planned specifically. Simon did some uh, searching back there, and uh, he kind of uh, looked at uh, ideas for camping spots. But we're gonna paddle around and see what we can find. There's a few islands uh, around. There's a lot of water on this river. It's a big old river system here in New Brunswick, the St. John River. So uh, we're just going to keep paddling and uh, find ourselves a camp spot. I'm just going to stop here, Sandra, and send Mike over the hill to see what... Thank you. Yeah, there's a good distance on the back side is Muskwatch Lake, eh? Oh, okay. Could be a nice sunset. Be a nice sunset. Could be a pretty nice spot. We'll give her a try. I hope you can get out in that thing. Oh yeah. Yep, I'm good. Oop, gonna bring the people with me. Oh. Yeah, I got the boat, don't worry. Okay, so we just uh, pulled up on shore. There's a fair amount of boat traffic here. That's probably gonna go to gonna go away during the week. We're out here for probably, uh, I would say, uh, seven days. So, I'm just walking up to see what our camping options are out here. So, give you guys a peek. Look at that. Oh, that's a big eagle. Look at this. We got ourselves a quite a nice camping spot here if we wanted it. Sorry for the boat noises. It's the weekend, so there's a lot of boats going by. Like I said, that's gonna go away throughout the course of this video. But man, come tonight, there's not gonna be any noise at all here. This is gonna be awesome. I think we hit it good. <laughs> this is really nice. Yeah, it's a perfect spot. There's a clearing up there. I don't know if there's clearings farther down, but this is really nice. You guys want to come into shore and take a look? Yep. We'll decide as a group. Over here. So you guys in agreement or you want to keep yeah. going? Nope, I like this. 
Good. Awesome. Although, let's be honest, we're not the ones making a decision. Let's see what the ladies yeah. say. <laughs> True. <laughs> I, know, I was just going to say to myself, I don't know what you're making plans for. <laughs> Homestead's coming good. If you guys haven't seen Center yet in the video, there she is. <laughs> Say hi to the folks. <laughs> so, um, we got a new tent and an old tent. We've had this style tent before. It's the MSR Hubba Hubba NX. Uh, our last one uh, had been leaking a little bit after many years of use. It was a really great tent, but we thought it was time for a new one. When we're looking for other tents, uh, this one really fit our needs for many, many years. So we decided to go with another one. So here we are. It's a slightly newer design. I don't know if you guys can tell any difference from the previous one we had. The only difference that I can tell you uh, aesthetically is the uh, extensions here are red. It's got a slightly different tarp. We had to add a bit of seam sealer to it, but we'll see how it works out on this truck. I didn't ask you to put it up. You were like, you asked me to put it up. And I said, no. <laughs> really, is this how this is going to work? Yeah. <sighs> I love long term relationships. <laughs> I don't like it is. Simon, everyone. <laughs> Nobody's legally allowed to be yeah. left alone with him. No bubble over there. <laughs> so anyway, You're in my bubble. No, sorry, yeah. sorry, Mike. Sorry. <laughs> so we're wrapping up uh, the first evening. Sorry, there hasn't been a lot of filming yet, but uh, that was kind of planned. We knew there was going to be a lot of boat traffic on the first day. Uh, so uh, on our first night, we just kept on paddling and found a random spot. It turned out to be a pretty sweet spot. Mm, we were able to get nice. flat ground for every tent. So this is great. Brandon's uh, working on his tent over there. So sorry he's not here for the exit. But uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks a lot for joining us, folks. We're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a great trip. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> You're always sitting away from them. Mm. <laughs> no, baby, come sit beside no, me. Let's hold no. hands for no. the people. No. Hi, everyone. Thanks a lot for joining us for Gene and Simon's breakup trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a beautiful morning. Nice and cool. It's kind of nice to have that difference in temperature. 
I think we uh, pretty much all had a great night's sleep. Yeah. Yep. So uh, didn't really uh, give a breakdown of what this trip's about, uh, and because we're not really sure. <laughs> uh, we just kind of picked a direction, and uh, we're going for like seven to eight days, and uh, just basically finding campsites along the way. Simon did a little bit of research just so we have a general idea where we can kind of target, but uh, this is just a fun, relaxing trip. So hope you guys enjoy. Just uh, want to make sure because I haven't really indicated. So we have Brandon at the end. We have Simon, myself, Sandra, and Jean. So thanks a lot, folks. Uh, promises to be pretty <laughs> eventful, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Day two. We <laughs> left earlier. <laughs> mm. Sandra's gonna have a good shot. She's right underneath. Hope she's using her phone. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, what a nice size bass. Come on. Do you want that for supper? Or? Well, we don't. We can't cook it. Well, oh, yeah. we didn't. Nobody has a frying pan, like, because yeah. of the fire ban. He's a nice size. Oof. Move my paddle. <laughs> And it's got really nice privacy. It's a really nice scene. Kind of fits us a bit better, I think. So the sights aren't perfect. Well, there's no sight. And uh, basically, we're gonna find space between trees. I think each group is gonna kind of find their uh, their own space, clean out the spot, and uh, we'll be setting up for the night. That's the beauty of this trip. We don't really know what we're getting into, and it's, it's fun to kind of make your own spot. So, it's a bit of a makeshift entrance into the island. We have a Somebody's had a fire here before, they have a fire pit. Doesn't look like it's been used in a while. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it feels good to be out of that sun. As soon as you get into the shade, oh, it feels amazing. So, this is kind of what we're looking at in terms of uh, camp sites. I don't know if the camera's doing this justice. I mean, that's enough room for one of our tents, but the, the ground is not the flattest. But that is one option. Sandra, come and help me pick a spot. So yeah, oh, this is gonna work. It's just gonna suck to bring all our gear, but look, there's a camping spot there that's perfectly flat. You can set up a couple of tents here. Where? Where? Here. Oh, it's not really a Widowmaker, it's alive. It's a live Widowmaker. <laughs> 
I think I think that would work. That'd be a good spot right here for us, Sandra. We don't have to clear the ground much. It's fairly flat. No widow makers. Nice burrow so you can make a bowl. Yeah. I like this spot. Oh, there's a tiny perch on there. There's the world's tiniest perch. <laughs> Look at that tiny perch. What a cute little thing. Oh, we tried. Hey there, everyone. I guess it's been a little while since uh, we talked to you guys. Uh, we d went out, did a little bit of fishing. Unfortunately, we got out there a little bit late. There was only like 50 minutes worth of <laughs> sunlight left. Unfortunately, not successful, but still uh, fun to get out. Uh, because we can't have a fire, we just sat out in the dark there for a little while. And uh, it was, uh, you know, not a huge day distance-wise, but that sun really beat us down today. So uh, we're all pretty tired. So everybody's already in their sleeping bags. And uh we're going to take off a little bit earlier tomorrow. So uh, thanks for sticking around with us this far. And uh, we'll see what the next days bring. Good night. That's a nice little camping spot. Yeah. No, nothing matter with that. I'm glad we came down and checked it out. I mean, to find a nice isolated spot like that in the middle of cottage country. Yeah. Pretty sweet. It's like urban adventure, man. It is. It you know, is. That's how you gotta, you gotta frame it up to the people. Yeah. You know, we went out gorilla camping. <laughs> in the cottage country jungle. <laughs> and survived to tell the story. Yeah. Countless reckless boat drivers. You, you can tell it's Monday though, eh? we haven't heard a single boat yet. <laughs> It's a nice calm day to paddle this morning. Um, not as much traffic on the lake as yesterday. Today's Monday, so most people have gone back to work now. I think I, I had just one boat go by. That's the first one I've seen all day today. Anyways, we uh, went up this Washington Moat Lake yesterday and spent the night at on an island and we uh, found out the, towards the top end of it. We weren't sure if we are gonna keep going up higher but uh, we decided to come back down the way we came through and go into a, a different section of the St. John River instead. Anyway, so it's been a good trip so far. Really happy to be here. Nice to have vacation. Uh, Mike and Simon and Jean and Brandon are all way behind me. We're heading uh, towards a little wharf that's on a corner just not too far in front of me here. I'm probably gonna stop there for lunch today, have a bite to eat and then keep going. Cutting her clothes, bud. <laughs>
good shallow already. Yep. Sarah, do you have a spoon? Thank you. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. No. no. I feel white cheddar. Yeah, it's true, and it's not yellow. Yeah. So here we are, Forever Young macaroni and cheese. Do you feel Forever Young? I am right now, yeah. Yeah, is it good? Yeah, it's good. I think it's a bit salty, but it's good. Mmm. Surprisingly okay. Yeah. Good, because we've got two more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we're finally off of the main lake and we're onto the part of the river system. There's actually a lighthouse there. You guys probably can't see it on the camera, but I'll show you guys later on. I uh, totally didn't expect that. A uh, lighthouse in the middle of the woods. We're gonna go take a look as we take a break. Whew. There's a beach right here. Yeah, I think we can get in here anyway. Yeah. We shall see. You don't want to sit with us? Yeah. <laughs> yes! Tired of being alone! <laughs> Tired of being alone? Yeah. We should have taken a canoe! <laughs> I think that's beach too, to be honest. What? Yeah, I'd be tired of being with Mike! Hell, <laughs> tired of being Mike. Oh, thanks. Who says you're going, who says you're going with Mike? <laughs> Everybody's tired of being with Mike. I don't want to be with Mike. <laughs> you are with Mike. Yay, Simon wants to be with Mike. I'm not tired of Mike. <laughs> Feeling uneasy. Do we dare? Uh, no. <laughs> That's There's awesome. Nothing though. holding that upper deck on this end. No, I know. That's too bad. It's pretty cool though. Didn't expect to see that. This is a uh, musquash lighthouse, and it's the musquash on the St. John, not the musquash on the Bay of Fundy. I think it's more solid than you think. Door's open. Yeah. There's a lot of ru rusty nails to get tetanus off of them. Really <laughs> it's not a good idea. Yeah, I really would like to go up there. <laughs> Brandon must have made it to shore. Yeah, and Gene's just coming around. It's not quite at the corner, but every once in a while you get a bit of flash of paddle there. Okay. Brandon, sir. Yeah. No, he did make it to shore. Yeah, it's a shot from up the top there. Yeah, we're waiting for you to go up. I'll hold the ladder. Yeah. It crossed my mind, but then I started looking at that platform. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's why neither no, one of us has gone up. No, that platform needs to come off, and the ladder goes straight to the front door.
Getting towards the end of the day, and we're trying to find a camping spot. We have some rough ideas. We'll see how it plays out. We may have to settle, but we're fine with that. It's all about having fun and being relaxed. Except for Brandon, he's right stressed out. What? No! <laughs> So it was raining when we got up this morning, so I'm going to set up the tent now to dry out the fly. Because everything was a bit wet when we put everything away. Yeah, this thing is still soaked. No, we just oh, ours. we're jumping. Just put ours up over the bush there. I'm gonna spray it out in the sun first, I think, to dry it out a bit. Well, we finally have our first campfire, everyone. It's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Yeah. We've been waiting for it for a few days. This is nice. So, a uh, pretty uh, full day of paddling. Uh, we uh, got here, well, not too, too late, right before supper time, but uh, had to do a little bit of exploring. But once we found this spot, we kind of knew this was right for us. So, so far, the trip's been going great. It's only Monday. So, yeah. so we're First all day of the vacation. <laughs> we're all still kind of full of energy and really excited that it's only Monday. Well, this has been great so far. Thanks a lot for uh, sticking with us, folks, and we hope you guys enjoy the rest. Cheers. I said cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, I kept moving my chair, but yeah, uh, the embers were coming right out. Yeah. The fire's like I melting my move. eyelashes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, hey! I, I thought I, I, could, I could wait, but I was like, no, no. <laughs>
Well, we just left the camp back on the water. What a great little campsite. I yeah, really like that. That was a sweet spot. Holy jeez, beautiful. So we had a really fun evening. It was nice to have a fire finally. That was uh, really enjoyable. So Jean's already headed out. To, she likes to kind of explore ahead. And so we have the rest of the crew coming up behind and uh, we'll see what the day brings. Afraid of heights, right? <laughs> <laughs> Go to shore? No, let's just go let's go with it a bit. Like. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we're almost to shore. Should be out of it in a second. You're gonna get wet walking in that river. <laughs> All good, Mr. Simon? Oh, very good.
going on with you? Awesome day. <laughs> Sitting in here. No rain. Got the constable. <laughs> Hanging out. All I'm missing is you. Oh. <laughs> Too sweet. <laughs> Good Lord. You could fit all five of us in there. <laughs> yeah, right? Like... Boats go by. Be... I'm glad we made it to camp early today. Yep. Wow. Oh, look at the water. Yeah, that's nuts. Oh, what do you have? Oh! Here you go. You gonna get it or you want me to get it? No, I can get him. I'm just waiting for him to get him. Nice! Oh, oh, slow down there. Oh, there nope. You here you go. Nice little bass. Hey there everyone, so uh, what is this, day four? Yep. yep. End of day four. We've done around uh, 60 kilometers so far, just kind of uh, exploring and uh, finding spots every day. Uh, we lucked out that we got to this spot fairly early. Uh, it's not ideal. Um, we're not 100% certain what's going to happen once high tide comes in again. Because <laughs> uh, even though we're quite a ways inland, uh, the tides do affect the waters here. But uh, we should be okay, from what we could tell. Uh, we got here just in time, huge downpour, uh, it was an interesting day, some rough waters out there at the beginning, uh, but eventually made it here, crazy storm, but uh, everything is good, I think uh, we're having a great old time, tomorrow we're probably going to leave fairly early, so we'll be hitting the sleeping bags pretty soon, anybody got anything they want to add? Yep. Yeah? I caught a bass today. Sandra caught a bass. <laughs> this is true. Uh, I still haven't caught, I only caught one tiny pickerel, so that doesn't really count. So, uh, I yeah. haven't caught anything. No. That's I true. also haven't fished. You've got to put more effort into <laughs> it. <laughs> so we're really having fun, folks, and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night.
morning, Sandra. Good morning, Michael. <laughs> Alright folks, I know this looks like just a bunch of old people playing Scrabble. <laughs> it's exactly what it cats. is. Yeah. What about beer cans in the front? Oh, that's fine. Alright, that's enough time. <laughs> I need some peanuts because I'm the peanut gallery. <laughs> I got some honey roasted nuts. Yeah. You want those, Mike? Oh. You liked them just, earlier. Dude, I haven't been able to fill them at all. I know. Now I'm just fucking with you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And that's why we haven't been filming a lot. <laughs> Things go sideways. Yeah. So day five, uh, coming to an end. Uh, the group kind of got separated today on purpose. We were kind of looking for a spot to camp. And uh, Simon and I went one way and... Uh, we uh, were able to communicate via cell phone uh, where each other was and uh, uh, we misunderstood where they were so we, <laughs> we did a long detour far away and uh, finally figured it out. We all gathered in this one little spot, nice little beach. So we're all set up on uh, kind of a gravel beach. It's a beautiful spot, folks. We've been lucky this trip. I mean, we've had some really amazing campsites. Oh, there's Brandon coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> So, uh, no, everything has been just perfect. Uh, we've been enjoying it a lot, just kind of sit back, relaxing, and uh, uh, basically just having fun. Yep. Yeah, it hasn't yeah. been uh, a big video in terms of setups and all that. It's just us kind of having a, a nice week uh, on vacation. Yep. So, all in all, everything's going great. We have a few more days to go. I uh, promise this to be another really nice night. Uh, we're probably going to gather a few twigs here and there and make ourselves a little fire. So all in all, I don't know anything else I'm forgetting. Mm, we had Weber Young macaroni and cheese <laughs> yeah, for supper. Again, yeah. Again? <laughs> yeah, that stuff was pretty good. <laughs> and uh, Brandon won the Scrabble game in case oh, anybody yes, was interested. Yes. So uh, right. he cheated, but he won. Yeah. So. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, he didn't cheat. <laughs> so anyway, thanks a lot, uh, folks. And uh, probably uh, turn the camera on a little bit later once we have the campfire going and uh, more fun to come. Yep. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> All thumbs. Whoa! Is the video going? That no, was a fluke. Oh my god. What? I didn't blow up his tail Oh my god, Gene didn't take care of his bedding. Oh, Jesus Christ, Gene. Right. Yeah. My sleeping bag's still in the blue dry bag there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's gonna That's go. That's your over problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I know I'm behind schedule.
Remember earlier today you were like, relax, sit down, why are you doing all that? Well, I got my bed ready, I got the tent up. I was sitting like, down and relaxing. Well, should have put your bed together. Put that stick that fell out. Uh, no. Another gorgeous morning. It's, uh, it's around 20 to 8 in the morning. Early start today. Got a bit of paddling over some open water and the winds are supposed to pick up a little bit in the afternoon so we figured we'd uh, kind of get away from that mess <laughs> and uh, get to our camping site fairly early and just kind of relax. Not that it's been too stressful a trip. This has been great. You're looking good, Sandra, in the morning sun. You're not looking too out of control? No, you're looking fine. <laughs> it's out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Wild and crazy. Well, we've been paddling non-stop for a while through a Fairly steady wind. Uh, we're barely moving. We don't have far to go, but it's going to take us three times as long as normal if this continues. Woo. So, we decided to pull over. Things got a bit hairy out there. Just a little bit farther, Sandra. Simon, the beach is a bit steep. When, she, when Sandra comes in, can you hold on to the front? Thoughts? That was a workout. <laughs> that was a slog. <laughs> yeah. And we lost the fishing rod along the way. Yeah, that's terrible. That yeah. was my bad. Oh, it happens. You lost the fishing rod? You did? Oh, I lost Mike's fishing rod. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was that? The last one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're stuck in the new room. Oh, appreciate that. Uh, I can use that or two, so yeah. no, no big deal. Alan attempt to save it, but. Not about to yeah. scroll no, around. No, the the canoe's starting kind of going yeah. yeah. Leave it, leave it, leave it. We're fine, we're fine. I see you, you whip around and something hit the water and then you heard slapping the top of the bell. I was like, oh, we lost that. Yeah, this looks like the inside of the jet boil. It's about that. That's what that looks like. That's a great description. You should be a writer. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. 
So after a pretty hectic day of paddling, we made it up to a little campsite. To, well, we've decided it's a campsite. <laughs> so this is where we're spending the night. Um, I had a fairly rough night last night because uh, I only found out after dark that uh, I had punctured a hole in my mattress here. <laughs> it, it's a good quality uh, mattress. I've had it for many years. Um, yeah, it was a pretty major mistake on my part to, to puncture this. So. Gonna fix it up so that I'm not sleeping on rocks and gravel tonight. If anybody's curious, my knife fell out of the sheet. At the time I thought it fell sideways, so I did the, the, the mattress still held, everything was fine. I didn't realize that it made a small little puncture hole. So we're gonna patch it up using a patch kit that Gene had. And hopefully this works out. Alright. So we've got the, uh, the hole with the patch says that you have to press in the middle first and then go around from there to make sure that there's no air pockets. That was pretty simple. Increases. That looks pretty good to me. We're supposed to let it sit for half an hour. And we'll try it out. Oh, I really hope this works because I need a good night's sleep. <laughs> Okay, so it's been a couple of hours. I've added a lot more air to it. And we're gonna give her a test run. Wish me luck. Put my ear right next to it. Do you hear anything? I know this looks weird, but. Well, I don't hear any air coming out. Seems to be holding. This is great. Thanks, Gene. Oh, ahead, look for you know, front. Oh, wow. Tell it to the people. The you can tell it to the people. Oh, we're gonna be setting the tents up over where the canoe is. 
So we're setting up the no bug zone here, so we're going to be out of the rain. It's supposed to be raining most of the day, so. Yeah. We want to get our stuff uh, as dry as possible. Yeah. yeah. The boys need paracord. Put you, they're putting up a rain shelter. A couple of half hitches for good luck. Oh, hang on, Mike. Okay, we got good spread. Yeah, I think so. You gotta have a good spread. Yeah, let's, uh, we gotta loop this over here. Yeah. That's why I've been in trouble with that. Yeah. I mean, it's the last day you can break something now, Mike. Yeah? Well, you can break something now. Oh, yeah. Hey, Brandon. Hey. I think your timing was pretty good. Jeez. Got here just in time. It's starting to rain. I'm just pulling it now. We're gonna move our gear inside the good old no bug zone. steam the lens. So we're sitting on the riverbank and uh, Simon's doing a little bit of baking. What do we have here, Simon? Uh, we got double boiler, chocolate and walnut, extra large muffin. <laughs> That's going to be a little bit of a treat on the side of the river. Chocolate cake, chocolate walnut cake. All right, let's see if we can lift that bad boy out somehow without burning ourselves too much. Oh, it's way too heavy. We're moving forward this time. We've got the Leatherman tool and hopefully we can just grab the can on the inside. The problem is is that the two are so close in size that when you put something in it, you can't actually pull out what's inside it. Oh, come on now. Maybe we're going to need a can opener. Well, you know what I'm going to, I had thought about this before I left and I just never did it, is I'm going to cut down the height of the outside can, right? So that you can, there we go, you can grab it a little better. Now let's not drop it. Perfect. Got some chocolate cake in the can. Run the knife around it to set it loose. Oh. Chocolate walnut cake. That is hot. 
Okay. Give her a shake for good luck. Get it off the bottom. And we'll just leave it here to chill. In the bowl. We forgot to bring a spare, spare paddle, so I'm making one. Is that, is that what's going on there? Yeah. It's some sandpaper. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty good without it, I'd say. Should have make a kayak paddle. Yeah, you should have. I thought <laughs> you were going to do that. That's what I'm paddling. <laughs> <laughs> you figure Simon and I are going to need the most help. Yeah. Want to show everybody what you got so far? It's not pretty, but... It's, <laughs> it's I like it. It's a pastime. It's nice. Yeah. I like cool. it a lot. Very I mean, cool. you're not done yet, right? You're just, yeah, just yeah. playing. Well done. Maybe I'll stir my coffee with it. <laughs> All right, so we're back to the chocolate cake. I think this has got to be take three or so. We've let it cool down a bit, and I'm going to just pop it out in our bowl. And, whoo, look at that. Can's pretty clean. Cake's, well, upside down chocolate walnut cake now, but, nice. oh, look at that. Let it cool a little more and we'll be ready to eat. Okay, so we uh, gathered a good amount of sticks, as one should. We have a whole bunch of birch bark that we found, but it's really old. So I don't even know if there's any oils left in this, but we're going to give her a try. Simon has uh, probably the best kind of tinder you can get. If I can get out of the jar here. We got cotton balls. This will burn no problem. That will take a spark. But whether our birch bark will go or not, I'm not entirely convinced so I'm gonna give her a try all right okay. will this burn does not appear to be burning okay finish strips No, oh, here we go. Last second save. Away we go. Okay, so we're going to let that take off. And then I'll put the pile on. You can actually split the layers of the bark there and yeah, get know. into some dry stuff inside. That seems to be working okay. Okay. Just getting the sunset on the other side of the river there. Nice. Light on the tree. There we go. That should go. Time to put some wood to her. So we can save that for another day.
grab a wedge. <laughs> Sorry, the hard one. Yeah. Just like a pie. Like give it to you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, I got a walnut. I got two of them. Sinking. Like a rock. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's gooey. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Now I'm hot again. <laughs> it's still warm. Mm. Mm. That's been sitting out for 25 minutes. That's good, thanks, Simon. Chocolate walnut cake. Yep. It's almost like a pudding cake. It's mm. very soft. Mm. Mm. I think whoever brought the walnuts deserves a pat on the back. Cause oh, yeah. <laughs> well, no, actually, sorry, Sandra. <laughs> no, it was Mike. <laughs> nice, good. Well done, Simon. More cake? Yeah. No, have some more no, cake. You got to yeah, yeah. Have a half of it. I'll take half of half of the cake. All right. You're gonna take half of the cake? You gave me a lot. That's a lot more than <laughs> half. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Damn you, Izzy Shepard. Nah, in we're face. out of cake. <laughs> I can't believe you made me eat chocolate cake. Mm. You're a horrible person. Chocolate walnut muffin. Mm. Jumbo size. Man, what a fun clip though. That's great. So what, we'll have done probably just over a hundred clicks and... Yeah. Well, you and I have gone a bit further, but mm. not much. Yeah. That's not bad. Oh, what a great river system. And able to go up different routes. Basically, we, we didn't have to double back all the time on the same... Plus, we've no, seen, it's pretty really, novel have, to be able to... see new stuff the whole time. Yeah. Pretty novel to be able to put in and come all the way back to yep. where we started. Yep. yep, this was really great. Be a little better if the tide worked in our favor, but yeah. <laughs> and the wind yesterday. But We're all in all, wind wise, the tide a little. Wind wise, though, we lucked out. We had one rough day, but the rest yeah. of it was pretty, pretty manageable. Yeah, no. If you think of it, for the whole week, we only had yesterday that was a hard paddle. Yeah, yep. yep. we got that little rain shower there that soaked everything About but, three days but ago, we yeah. weren't on the water no yeah. you know no, and, we locked out and today it was supposed to be windy but we didn't get the wind we just got some showers mm -hmm. right? so that was turned out pretty good mm -hmm. it's the oh, great it's new great. brunswick staycation yeah. <laughs> Squishy, squishy. Closer. Everybody in close. Closer. Closer. More. Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're all packed up, and that's going to wrap up the trip. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I want to thank Brandon, Simon, Gene, and Sandra. It was a great old time. I uh, wish we could start again at day one. But uh, really glad you guys joined us and hope to see you again next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye.
Ha <laughs> ha